Uh, we're going to make a uh, butterfly sculpture. So um, here we want to observe the shapes, the basic shapes of the butterfly. First, uh, the body. The butterfly is made out of three parts for the body. The head, the thorax and the abdomen. And you see it's relatively round for this, this one. Um, then the wings uh, can be of any shape. It can be a triangle, one triangle. One wing is triangle and a little bit of over at the bottom. You can also make this kind. That means more overish and then with another small over at the bottom. So you can design your own wing. You need to follow exactly what you see in nature. So now we're going to draw this uh, out so you can remember the shape. We're going to draw the body, the head, the thorax, and then the abdomen. Thankfully, For the wings, uh, we can design this part of the wing, then we can copy the same one. So the wing comes from the thorax. Yeah, so we can just design the shape that you want. So you can do like this and then with a round. Okay, so over here we do the same. Same. Yeah, like this. Over and then come in and look around. Okay, so you can see. Okay, one wing here and another wing there. So we're gonna make the body first. So we take one piece of clay, the pieces of clay. One for the body, one for the wing. So the body. This one we're gonna use one piece for the body, but I think it's too big. We can cut into half. No way. Yeah. So we make into a sort of tapered like this, and then this kind of shape with a pointy back. So you can roll it with your palm. So this is the. Dolman. And then over here we can roughly sketch out the sort of the thorax, and this is the head. Okay, then we can take out the extra clay. It'll be easier mm. rather than chop. So we want to be able to show the three parts of the body. The head, you see? We smoothen it diagonally. You can see the roundness of the body. Okay, smoothen. Squeeze here a little bit. You can see you can separate the abdomen from the thorax. Squeeze a little bit. Smoothen it. See side view and reduce the clay. Okay, the eyes will be here and here. Okay, so we have the body pieces one for left side, one for right side. So again, we want the wing to be as long as the abdomen, or even longer. So we can match it up like this first, and just sketch. So the wing should come out from the thorax. So we can draw the wing. If you like this shape, okay, then you cut it out. If you can manage to balance it, then you can make the wing standing. Okay, we'll do another one. So this is okay, I like this shape. I'm going to roll another piece and then put this on top of this. You know why you have to flip it? You put it on top. We want to neaten it.
face up. Alright, this one is facing up. Oh, you know? You want to know which side is facing up. So you need to decorate this side and this side. So you leave it on the board. So you know which side to decorate. So, just like that. See, if this is too big, you can always reduce it. You can see lines coming out this way, and then they're spreading out. And you can do another set of different lines here. Or uh, you can do stripe. Um, stripes. See, there's a there's a way of doing this. She just lines coming out, the top wing and the bottom wing. So what you can do is separate the top wing and the bottom wing first, more or less. So you can come out from here towards the edge. Actually, there's a way of patterning. Uh, there's a system. So this one here at the bottom wing, we can have a different uh, texture. You can come out a little bit from here. So you can see the veins actually run uh, from this source here. Then from here you can split the river. So imagine this as a river, it's coming out. Okay, so for this part here, you do the same. You define the bottom and the top. Because they are two separate wings. Okay, then you do the top wing first, coming from here, this end, and spread out to this side here. Then from here, you can split out some more veins. Okay, if you want, you can do the same here. Okay, the so bottom one, maybe the river start comes from here. So you spread out to the outside. You see the pattern? Mm. Then you can have some small rivers. Okay, if you want your work to be more interesting, you can actually make the bottom wing a uh, different edge. See the edge can be rounded. Just push your tool against it. See? Gives you a kind of wavy edge. Same for this, this one here. I'm going to start from here. Yeah. Just push against the edge and you get a very nice wavy side edge. Okay, so we come back to this body. So it's okay for you to spread it out a bit. Because you can't see the bottom. What you want to make sure is that you can sit. Nicely. Less. and uh, joining the we'll score both sides the side here and the side here and the slip press the same from here Press it. And you can uh, make this nicer. You can also blend it into the body so that it looks like it comes up on the body. Then 
Harry draw the lines. You make some fur on the thorax. Yeah, the abdomen starts here. You shape the abdomen nicely. Again, um, you can trim it. Correct shape. It's too long, you can cut. And I curl it up a little bit. Draw some lines. Make the eye. If the head is too big, I can cut it. It's too big, huh? Tua Tau. Tua Tau. Look at that. Put some clay on the sides. Okay, another way is you can mount it on a stone. So take all this clay, squash it, make it into a tall stone. Then you can uh, you can push the body sort of into the into the into the clay, you know, extra clay, and then just draw the legs. You know, you don't really need to make it. You know. Can shape again. 